Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Our God is worthy to be praised and adore. Father, in the name of Jesus, unto you be all the glory. We thank you for our lives. We thank you for the gift that you have given us, which is salvation. We thank you for your preservation. We thank you for who you are. We thank you that you hold the world in your hands. We thank you that you are always with us and your promises are necessary for our upkeep. We thank you that when you left us, you said you're not going to leave us nor forsake us. Jesus, we thank you. We pray that you forgive us our sins. Forgive us our in uh, our irresponsibility concerning the Great Commission. That we have become selfish and self-centered and have forgotten about why you saved us. We thank you that in all of that, you have been merciful. Help us to love you help us speak to us clearly spirit of the living god that we may know your will and do it accordingly we expect your coming soon keep us from evil and sin so we'll be found worthy when the trumpet sound we ask for help in these evil days in the name of jesus i pray for every mother i pray for every pastor i pray for every child i pray for everyone that is uh going through stuff that is pushing them out of the kingdom i pray that father you said you keep us those that the father has entrusted into your hands so we believe in your keeping paul says i know whom i believe and i'm persuaded that he's able to keep we pray that you keep us from falling for unto him who is able to keep us unto him who is able to do all things unto him do we commit our lives and let god's people say amen and amen praise be to god god bless you all I'm going to share God's word with you, which I enjoy. The flower fades, the leaves wither, but the word of God abide forever. Amen. And so I'm so excited to share God's word with you. Um, so let's get into his word. Um, I'm reading from, if you let me, I'm reading from the book of Psalms. Psalms number, remember I said Psalm is always number, you don't say chapter. Psalm number 38, uh, division 14. David said, I choose to hear nothing and I make no reply. Amen. I choose to hear nothing and I make no reply. Amen. Um, so I want to quickly share with you three times three places three situations you should not talk amen uh jesus did a classic example when he was brought before the council when he was brought before uh pilate when he was brought before all of the leadership during the time of his crucifixion and the scripture says he didn't say a word there are times in your life where you, you silence is your weapon there are times in your life where you have to be silent and if you know that if i know that there will be victory it is very uh, critical now let me exegete the test let me exegete the song so david is really singing the song of uh, desperation unto God, asking God to come and help him. And he has been sick, literally, psychologically, spiritually, and physically. And not only that, he's also under a strong attack, and his enemies are waging war against him, trying to destroy him and just wipe him from among the living. And in the Psalms, he's talked about a very potent phrase, which is, um, I pretend I'm not hearing what they are saying because. I have prayed to God. I love that. He says, I pretend not to hear what they are saying because I have prayed to God. So the reason why he's not replying his enemies, he's not replying those who are gossiping about him, he's not replying those who are talking about him, is primarily because of who he's talking to. When you talk to God, you don't have to talk to man anymore. When you bring your case before God, you don't reply man anymore. But I like the choice he made. He says, I choose to I choose to act as if I can hear so that I do not give a reply which is a very powerful thing that you should do when you are tempted to really talk be silent when you are angry be silent when you are upset be silent you understand that all right so let's talk about the three circumstance that I will recommend that you be silent and not talk all right um, I strongly believe that um, when you hear the opinion of others about you and the, the people who are talking about you, they don't know you from anywhere, don't reply. Pretend you didn't hear it. Let me say it again. When you hear people talking about you, and forming opinion by you and the people they are who are talking they don't know you from anywhere don't reply you understand that means that it is somebody who has 
told them about you and they are going about with whatever they heard and they are talking about you don't reply there's a sad reality i don't know why it's going on there's a sad reality about social media people insulting leaders insulting presidents all over the world and i kind of feel like if such a thing happened to you don't reply we are living a day the bible says in the last days there will be a lot of um iniquity a lot of um godlessness and a lot of disrespect will be all over and i feel that that is the season and the time that we are in you find a 12 year old insulting a 50 year old you find a 11 year old insulting a 30 year old you find a 20 year old insulting an 80 year old and that is a season and the times we are in and i want to let you know that in times like that when you find somebody insulting you who don't know you at all i want you to remember the book of psalms 38 14 i pretend that i cannot hear so i don't give a reply there's no value in replying somebody who don't know you but yet have form of opinion about you there's no value in responding to somebody who don't know you but yet has formed opinion about you and it, when i was young i would do everything to reply but i want you to know when you hear people talk about you and you don't know them don't reply them it's a waste of your time it's a waste of your energy and it's a waste of your life and your purpose so first scenario any time you hear people talk about you and you don't know where they are who they are don't reply number two when you meet somebody who don't understand what they are talking about don't reply you understand i didn't know i've been i've i've grown up old. there are days i will go to social media and i'll be typing typing some people will be in uh, uh, uh some people will be in uh some village in africa and they'll be talking about america and they'll be insulting americans and insulting blacks in america and i will jump on the internet and i'll be typing and 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 having an argument with somebody who lives so far from america and yet is an expert on america subject and i'll be replying explaining and they'll be fighting me when i was young you see oh. so number two don't be silent about people who don't know what they're talking about and yet have an opinion there's a bible verse that says don't reply a fool there's a part there's a part that says also reply a fool and i feel the difference is the fool that you know you have to reply a fool you don't know don't reply there's a verse that says that reply a fool so that it doesn't stay foolish there's another verse in the same book of Proverbs that says, don't reply a fool. Right? So I feel don't reply a fool if you don't know that fool. So if anybody is talking about things they have no, you realize that they are aggressively talking about it, yet they have no idea what they are talking about, don't reply such a person. Be silent. Let them keep talking. Because they will attack you. That's what the Bible says. If you if you correct the fool, he will attack you. So be silent. Lastly, which is the most important thing, be silent when you are under attack. And that's what the verse is talking about. Be silent when you are under attack. As soon as you come under attack, the Lord is fighting for you. As soon as you come under attack of any kind, sister attacking you mother-in-law attacking you father-in-law attacking you co-workers attacking you be silent because they are not coming to hear you they are coming to attack you you understand because the battle is not yours i don't know who this is for but when you are attacked by people don't respond david said that i pretend i don't hear 
so that I don't reply. For I am speaking to the Lord. So when you are under any attack, don't speak. Again, it's not easy. You want to explain yourself. I've been there. Make long, as for me, hey, make long recording, audio recording, explaining from A to Z. And they take what you are saying and they turn it against you again. We don't use our mouth to talk. We use our heart. Do you understand? And any heart that is closed will never listen to you. You understand? So don't explain yourself when you are under attack. Because they will not listen. But there is a God. Who hears our cry. That you will talk to. And he will take care of you. Let's pray. Eternal Father, we want to thank you today for your word. Help us to put into practice that we will live a wise life and bring honor to you. In Jesus' name, amen.